Very nice, isn't it? Yeah. Looks curious. Mm. We're in a kitchen with no chairs. Just <laughs> it's a good kitchen with no chairs. I promise, no repetition, but I found one question I thought I'd ask a sure. second time. I'll bury it in the middle and then ask you later if you can tell which one it was. All right. <laughs> oh, well, all right, then. I get the impression that some people think that the humor of Monty Python as a group and on, on film and on television is um, irreverent. Mm -hmm. You've probably been criticized for that times in the past. Uh, how, do you, how do you respond to that? It can be irreverent, but what it chiefly is, is anarchic, I think. Um, I don't think we necessarily go out of our way to um, annoy or irritate particular groups, but we feel we should occasionally and, uh, and, and don't hold back. You know, if someone deserves a bit of boot, then we'll put the boot in. You know? um, but uh, we don't really... Uh, it, it's, it's not satire, as it were. We don't kind of, uh, although we can use satire, yes, we don't at attack uh, personalities or politicians or, or anything particularly. Uh, without good cause. Without good cause. Uh. <laughs> then we do, yeah. do you have any favorite characters from all the multitude you've played, television or films? Uh, yes. I mean, favorite of all, I suppose, was, uh, was, was Brian in Life of Brian. That's largely because I like the movie so much. And I think it said something which is worth saying as well, which is, uh, you know, uh, think for yourselves and don't blindly follow. Uh, and it was, it had a beginning, a middle and end, which is unusual for us. And, and it, um, it was quite funny. So um, that was a, a very pleasurable experience. Um, Afterwards, it w wasn't so hot. Uh, well, it was very hot, actually, filming in, in Tunisia. The desert, <laughs> Tunisia, but uh, um, not always pleasurable then. But uh, afterwards, yes. Um, otherwise, the uh, in the very early days of TV, I quite enjoyed the, the Colonel figure because uh, he was a very useful device. If we hadn't got an ending for a sketch uh, or something just looked as though it was going on a little bit much, we could uh, we could carry on and then stop it suddenly with the Colonel very easily. And so he had a fair degree of license to do whatever he wanted to do, which was kind of fun. And sometimes the rest of the cast didn't know that they were going to be interrupted, which was, oh. which was quite exciting. Keeps up that spot yeah, yeah, it did. Uh, otherwise, I, I suppose the, uh, those ridiculous caricatures, they're not really caricatures that could, of females because they're so removed from real <laughs> females, they're like from another planet. Uh, but those creatures were quite fun to play because once we were inside those kind of costumes and, and with those ridiculous voices you, you personally were so far removed from your real self you, you felt uh, that you could say and do anything you wanted uh, so it kind of freed you from any hang-ups that you might have now of the television series were there and do you know 45 episodes yes right. three full seasons of 13 and six, six others uh, others yes now <coughs> Do you know how? To, uh, do you have any way of indexing a, a particular sketch? Do you know what? Uh, did anybody keep track? Is there a way of? There is a list. Yes, I think we've all got a got a list of the contents of, of each program, roughly. But it's rather difficult to annotate because some of the pieces are so short. Yes. And, uh, that, uh, but uh, yes, there is a list somewhere. Well, does Monty Python's Flying Circus still appear on English television? I would have said no, but now it does. They've they've rerun them, begun rerunning them for the first time since about '75, I think. Uh, oh. Just uh, one week ago, so uh, that's uh, so a whole new generation will be. Yeah, exactly. They'll have have never have seen anything of our TV work before. Now I work mostly with musicians who often tell me they can't stand to listen to their music once it's done. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you feel any of that towards towards your work? And well, is it towards, hard to, to towards certain episodes and towards certain sketches, yes. <laughs> but there are some that are still quite satisfying, and I can live through without squirming. Um, on the whole, out of a series of 13 programs, I suppose, uh, in all sincerity, we would be, I would feel very happy out of, with about five or six of the programs out of 13, moderately happy with another four or so, and then a little bit worried about, <laughs> about the remainder, which is not too bad. Okay. Mm. Um, now, you... Uh but I think e even then, having said that, even the lousy ones had a certain amount of oddness about them, which, is, which, which was still appearing appealing, whether they embarrassed me or not. And what you thought was odd, somebody else yeah, probably thought quite, was, quite. was terrific. Yeah. 
um, on a personal level, having nothing to do with Monty Python, you have uh, been working on a second book of your own, mm -hmm. how, and you describe it with an interesting word. I believe it was novelish. Novelish. Yeah. <laughs> novelish. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Uh, it's, it could be a sequel to uh, Elias Autobiography, Volume 6. Uh, it might be Volume 2, so that would be a prequel, I guess. But, a prequel. Uh, but it, it is not. It's more of a, a little more of a novel, which is why I said novelish, uh, which I hope, because it's um, fictionalized more than Elias Autobiography was, I'll be able to tell even more of the truth than I did in that. Okay. Which is saying some. <coughs> and uh, at this point in uh, the calendar, we are uh, in the middle of April mm -hmm. in 1987. You're swarming. I don't see how you can keep track of all the things that are going on, but could you give us a, a quick little synopsis of upcoming films or projects that we should be uh, on the lookout for? Okay, yes, with pleasure. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, there's one movie called Love Potion Number no. 9, which has uh, just completed photography. That's uh, a horror movie. Um, I was involved with that as an executive producer, which sounds grand, but in fact I was merely grubbing around for money for it. Um, and that I've seen the first uh, three reels of, and it looks excellent. That should be out in November. That's not a blood and guts thing. It's a little, uh, little more, um, um, I don't know, uh, cuter than that. Not cute. That's a bad word to use. Um, more intelligent, perhaps. It's, um, uh, but still. Uh, uh, and I think, therefore, more scary, perhaps, because it isn't so overtly mm. horrific. It's, it plays a little more in your mind. Mm. And, um, you know, you never quite know what's going on. You're not in uh, it, you're just a... Until the very end, where there is a, 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 a very nice twist. That, I can say, because I had nothing to do with writing it. Um, but that looks as though it's going to be very good indeed. That will be out in November. Then, uh, a project which uh, is, a, is a comedy, uh, which I wrote with John Cleese some time ago, um, and that we'll be filming in September of this year. Uh, I shall be acting in that one. Uh, we're doing that on the cheap, probably even filming in my own house. That's how cheap we're being. Um, then, uh, so that could be out by maybe the summer of 88. Uh, and then on top of that, there's a, a project which is in uh, sort of the latter stages of gestation. Uh, about the Dangerous Sports Club, a group of people that I got to meet a couple of years ago. Uh, and uh, that is an adventure movie with an element of, of comedy, surreal comedy too. Uh, and uh, that will be, I, I think, probably the first adventure movie with no special effects at all. It will be horrendously real. People really jumping off the Empire State Building. That's right, yeah. <laughs> yes. And you get to be with them while you're sitting in your seat safely if we have enough cameras, which we will. Sounds like an adventure in itself, mm. going to it, yeah. audience participation. Well, I hope so. I hope it makes them feel a bit 360-degree screen. <laughs> huge, yes. Okay. Well, as huge as we can. Mm -hmm. And other things unknown still coming down the pike. Yep. Okay, good. Thank you. Thanks very much.